<laughs> oh man, that is just too cool. I could watch this all day long. Oh. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. This Marvel run was created by Gualala Gadgets, who I met at the Bay Area Maker Fair, spent a lot of time at their booth talking about these mazes and the absolutely brilliant design of them, but managed to not actually take any footage of their booth. E. Sorry about that. But I was super impressed with these. This is a fully 3D printed marble run, one that prints without any supports whatsoever and it's got a lot of clever design in it in fact i was so impressed with with how they did it and discussed the their technique for a long time with them they model this in blender and while i would use a different technique than they did uh, they use little tiles to put it together to make sure that all of their runs are this very high angle as far as as far as 3d printing goes to allow the marbles to move down at just a nice slow pace. They don't have high swooping overhangs. But how did they get these to print without supports? Well, you can see on the bigger print here, which I'll talk about in a second, but there's a lot of parts where the print just went really stringy. That's because he built in these areas of bridging. And these areas of bridging, yes, while they fail individually, on the model, you can see here, their failure provides something for the next layer to build on so that by the time it gets up to the part that we want to have good solid supports under, it's it's got a good base for printing on so that the marble run itself prints perfect every time. It's so clever, just absolutely brilliant. Now, this kit he sent home with me, and I, I really appreciate him doing that. It's got a button and a motor, and it all goes together with some wiring and a battery pack and stuff like that. It's a really cool kit, but if you would like to try out Gualala Gadgets right now, you can go to their website, and you can download this model. This model is a little hand crank model, and it's sized for these little 8 millimeter marbles, but I had to steal one from this kit in order to put it in here because I don't have any little eight millimeter metal marbles. However, I can get glass marbles really easy and glass marbles are 16 millimeters. So if you want to print it for glass marbles, all you gotta do is take this model and scale it up two times, which does present a problem because this screw down the middle then becomes way too tall for a mini. It was even too tall for my Replicator 1. You need a larger build volume in order to do this screw at two times volume. But once you do that, you're good to go. Now, I printed these ones in Fiberology High Definition PLA from my friends at Fiberology. Thank you guys very much for sending it. And I do want to talk about their filament in a future video because yes, they are even getting into the uh, master spool uh, movement, but we will talk about that in a future video. However, since I'm introducing new filament, that means new supporter tiles that I printed in that filament. So thank you, Richard Jackson and Rosier Cade for your support. I'm going to take your tiles and put it on the tile wall. I love this part because it's like building a puzzle. I just got to figure out where they go. So thank you very much for that. Now, Gualala Gadgets is looking into maybe selling a kit, maybe taking the 3D model and you print it out, but they will sell you the button and motors and everything in a nice little kit and the marbles that you need to run it. And they're thinking that they can probably do this. I, and, and I'm asking you guys, I want you guys to tell me if this sounds like a reasonable price. Would you be willing to buy the button? and the motors and the and the the marbles and things like that would you be willing to pay fifteen dollars for everything except for the 3d printed parts which you then print yourself and put into it do you think that would be pretty neat to buy just a little kit of the parts that you need everything except for the 3d printed part that you could do your own and then you'd have a little project and yeah i, I built this myself and it really wasn't that difficult to do it, it's not quite easy enough for children uh, unless you have a really smart kid. I would say maybe 11 or, or 12 years old would be able to handle this just fine, any younger than that, and maybe not. But 
or adults would have a really fun time with this one because it's a super simple electronics project. What do you think? Does that sound like a fair price for it? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Now, I did make one minor modification to the screw on this. I put a little cross-shaped hole in there that a Phillips head could fit into so that I can do this. Oh yeah. I could do this all day long. Woo! Go, man, go! Ah. Alright, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I want to thank my Patreon backers. Your support is more needed than ever. And I want to thank Gualala Gadgets for letting me have this kit as well as providing these for you guys that you can download. Go try them out. See what you think. They are super, super cool and super cleverly designed. But until next time, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Remember safety first. I'll see you next time. Woo! B-roll.